Sega. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We are done with our break. I'm joined by Phil Boole, the lead game designer of Dawn of War 3. And for the next hour and a half, you guys have the pleasure of watching this <laughs> badass play this game against another designer. This guy, what's this guy's job? Uh, <laughs> so we'll be playing against Byron Chow, one of our core designers. Uh, Byron has been with the Dawn of War franchise uh, for a very long time. Uh, worked on both Dawn of Wars 1 and 2 in wow. different capacities. Um, so I fully expect to get my behind handed to me uh, because Byron will be using many of the systems that he himself designed. Uh, so please be gentle with me, my We're dear, dear friend. Gentleness, please. <laughs> uh, this will be really fun. We're going to play some games. Um, is it? You're also going to be playing other games as well? Is it just the 1v1s for... Uh, I think we'll be just be playing some 1v1s. Just 1v1s, yeah. okay. And I'm actually going to be your designated kind of co-pilot guy, so I'll be asking him questions. I'll be doing everything I can to distract him, I guess, is, is what that boils down to. But this is kind of a nice time for you guys to ask questions. Um, I will relay them to him, and we'll just kind of have a nice chat while playing the amazing Dawn of War 3 on the open beta weekend. Excellent. Uh, and just as a reminder, too, to everybody as well, make sure if you're like, wow, it looks really awesome, I want to play, just go join the open beta by looking for it on Steam. Dawn of War 3 is, I think, what they search, and you're free to play. Absolutely. Okay, let's get the game started. 
So I was asking Phil before what his races are, which is kind of a funny question because, of course, you play all three. But uh, you said you prefer Eldar and Space Marines, I think. I spent the most time with Eldar and Space Marines. Um, I, you know, Eldar, I, I used to have a bit of a challenge getting enough momentum mm -hmm. up and going, but I really sort of think I'm... I'm in a better place now with my space elves. They play very different. They do. They do. They're a lot of fun. I mean, space marines are really like, uh, you know, they're tanky, they're yeah. tough, so they're a little more forgiving in the early game, I would say. But um, I do really like with this, with uh, the Eldar that I can get a bunch of units out pretty fast. We're going to throw our first wrench in your gameplay. So once you set that up, you're going to have to alt-tab and switch to in-game, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at me. That would help. And we're in. There we go. There so we go. Hey, now you can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> Summoning Dire Avengers. I queue Avengers. up the Dire Avengers. So you do like to go for the middle objectives first. Uh, I've got some Bone Singers yep. going out for some of the other ones, but uh, I do end up with the fighting. Uh, I like uh, this map. Uh, I do like this space where you can... Core. Yeah keep your eye on the center and, and start building there. Let us make the most of this resource. Yeah, that stealth cover on that high ground like that will give you a quick win if anything shows up to try and yep. deal with that. you got to cap it first, though, I suppose. Dire Avengers await your orders. Right. Go ahead. So move out here, going for the right flank. There's always a little bit of a 50-50. Is he here? No. But it's always so nice, too, when you show up and they've got their worker bees trying to grab it. You're like, nope, yep. not today. Like for instance, oh, here we go. Oh, he just gave it to you. What a nice guy. No, nope. I was gonna, I was gonna say I was like. He's gonna show up, chase him off, and you're gonna win both the middle objectives so far. Do you like to do listening posts, or do you just kind of go for the just grab it right now? Uh, for now, I'm just gonna grab, but. Oh, interesting. Light enemy force engaged. East of your position. You have your bone Got some reinforcements to come in there. The boys put the hurting on in close combat. That they do. Oh, I like that. On the high ground like that, I'm gonna steal that. Boys are gonna pull back and retreat there. Phil has won the day. Kind of. He's got one squad down, another one injured. Or actually, no, you didn't lose a squad. I didn't lose it, but... Yes. Very weak. <laughs> yeah. Alright, where's my other... I really like the building on the high ground there. You have the heavy cover there, too. If things get dicey, you can just kind of retreat back into that. Of course, against Orcs, there's an issue of them being mostly melee early on, so... Yes, that is the big challenge here. With song, it will be brought. Ready here. And you just recalled that bone singer there, right? Was that through the webway, or how'd you do um, that? I just, he was up here, so I just used his teleport, or her teleport ability. Okay. The foundation, the interlude done, and the next burst sung. You're blowing my mind right now. If two of those work on, do they build faster? Uh, actually, they if don't. The it's just a habit of They'll just go there and like help you like jazz hands a little yeah, bit? Yeah, they will repair faster, okay. however. Let me pull up the chat here. And these early battles I find to be so pivotal. Like, you did a good job of forcing him off of that. You don't really... I think you might have lost an add-on, but other than that, winning that fight is a pretty big deal. Oh, you can hear it. <laughs> There we go. Here we go. If you have questions. Yeah, okay, a big fight, two sided here. Three units though, and again in close combat, it's really tough for the Eldar here. You got Dark Reapers on the high ground. Power generator. We have lost a power generator. Deathly now, Dire Avengers. 
Die Revenge must be patient. We will spring forward at your word. I really like the uh, hollow field Death doctrine for these no uh, okay. Dire Avengers. Just I hear you. gives me some yes. sneaking Very and well. some ability to escape when I need to. Which I quite like. Just trying to delay him a little bit. They do get out of the way, but you get some Gretchen. Oop. Oh, they went. Oh, they're... Time to run. <laughs> that's the boys' shout, right? They have a yeah, wall themselves. Yeah, they can sort of, sort of get themselves all ready. Yeah, that Dark Reaper range. This high ground you're utilizing is really good. Kind of, it's almost a nexus between the two objectives. It kind of gives you a good fire base, I suppose. Yeah, they've got one too on this side, so yeah. I gotta be careful that I don't get outflanked there. But it's definitely helpful. Start investing in some economy here. Dark Reapers are the cause. Your bone singer will capture that. On what? Did take that objective for right now. No. You're gonna kind of circle around and be mindful of the fact, like you said, that he could take that high ground. Uh, he went with uh, his name Ronan, I believe, right? The yep. Ranger. Seen a lot of just like lobbing the power shot in spots that you know where the opponent could be. Yeah, it's it's a good scouting Overseen. tactic, I find. It just helps. Keep your eye on them, Point on where the enemy is, but... Let us make the most of this resource. There's also times when you really want to hold on to him. Okay, let's Our see. Fate is uncertain. We will be doing raffles, guys, but it's a little bit later. Uh, we're going to be giving away two collector's editions in the last couple hours of this stream. We're going till 4 p.m. Pacific time. So about two hours and 19 minutes. We must be patient. Bill is... It's actually super refreshing to see this. He's in mega focus mode just like I am every time I play this. <laughs> That's why I'm not berating you right now. I don't uh, want to... Yeah. But he's got, he's got a good foothold. You've got your own objectives in the backfield. And you're kind of creeping up on him. Oh, he's going for that middle. There's a listening post there. West of your position. Oh, sneak in the high ground. Oh, but he comes out of the stealth terrain. A little bit of a surprise there, but oh, they have good escapability. You're going to try to get out of there. I'm going to try, but I'm out of battle focus range until I get here. Listening post. So you're holding off on your elites. Is that strategic, or are you going to I want to get now? Jane Zar out. I oh, you're skipping Ronan going straight to Jane's. Or I like that. Yeah, she has a huge impact in the early fights, I find, because she's the melee character, so she can yeah. jump into heavy cover, but also uh, just wins the fights. And her her Q is so strong. Yeah, her tri skill is loads of fun. I move as the wind. We serve and we claim all we serve. Howling banshees answer the call. We call a bone singer to us. I am at once. Uh oh. Speak with wisdom in shadow. When you initiate a wad, that's just a charge, or maybe defend. But there's no reason to do that other than I'm about to attack, right? Yeah, unless he's trying to psych me out. That's the <laughs> other thing. <It's, laughs> I've seen some good plays where it forces me to to respond one direction or, or the yeah. other. Yeah. Oh, okay. Especially the wad tower. Uh, call back. Yeah. Oh, you got the front squad and the back squad of that. Good Jane's are used there. She hasn't even taken any damage yet. She can almost solo these units. Yeah, those banshees unfortunately didn't do too well. A requisition generator is under fire. You can see the cooldown on her abilities is fairly quick as well. So yeah, she's out of battle focus, which is not a good thing to be for her. I shall shape this place to your liking. The nice thing about that fight was that was you hacking up a decent chunk of his line units, and you still have yours yeah. chilling back there. Start 
getting up another... This is a stupid noob question, but what is this warping around ability you're using with the Bone Singer? Uh, they're W. They have, a, they have a teleport. Oh my god. It is very handy. I've literally played... I'm, a, I'm ashamed, guys. I've played so many hours, I've never done that a single <laughs> time. <laughs> wow, yeah, it, it is their super utility. If you ever wonder how someone's... How an Eldar is, like, backdooring you and getting a... A webway gate at the back. That's how. You have to have vision where they teleport, though, right? Is there, is there yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. Here's the big fight. Post wall coming in. Oh, good dodge there. There's the stun, though. Calls back the tri blade. Whoa! A little bit of whiff there, but gets out of the way of the damage. And this is the Eldar way, you're losing, you lost your building back there. That hurt. Jane's are doing some heavy lifting though. Oh my god, oh so many problems. Is it just every scrap becomes a turret with that ability? Yes. So because he had four, all of a sudden there's a gigantic fire base? Oh, Jane. Jane Czar. Well, when I said <laughs> my dear colleague Byron would cause me some pain, this is what I was talking about. A big fight up the left side there. Still hasn't been able to capture that middle resource node just yet, so resource wise, you're doing okay, but he's working on it now. Yeah. It is an elite point, which I find is really nice, obviously, but there's some give and take there. It's expensive to upgrade. Yeah. The listening shrine is destroyed. I'm a glutton for the elites, though. I really do like Dark investing in the early elite points. The call. We have lost an elite point generator. Let me know if you guys have questions in the chat, but also uh, our sound levels are good. Sounds like we're doing pretty good here. If, if you have any questions for Phil, I can relay them. Otherwise, we're working really hard to just uh, pull a win out for other craft world. We will win all our requisition generator is complete. I like the Dark Reaper use. You like to put them up on high ground like that and just be able to rain you down destruction. You base structure. That is the plan. No listening post here. Or the equivalent. Something worthy of me. In how many pieces shall we render it? Dark Reapers shall I haven't noticed any battle. music in game. There's a cool sound or two. Any reason for that? I think there is. There is music. It just um, it builds. Okay. So we're still in escalation phase two. So uh, not too much. You'll also notice a bunch of stingers will happen. Musical stingers when you when when Jane Czar went down or when I brought her in. Very cool. So it's definitely a part of the game, but it is there for you. Absolutely. Where'd my you have your Quick strike upgrade secured. If you're not getting a open beta key, you can actually just search for Dawn of War 3 in Steam and get it for yourself. Absolutely. You are free to play, my friends. Make sure and take advantage of it. Oh, they're pushing into... Enemy force engaged. A grenade! Feast on Flash, we're gonna, oh, he's going for the power generator. One of the first objectives. We serve Cain. Moving we will secure it. The webway gate is completed. The harvest. It shall be ours. My car is one of those music stingers I was talking about. Lining up target. Requisition generator under attack. There's the forever shot. Oh, nails him. Upgrade complete. Summoning dire Avengers. Oh, you're, tr you're trying to get rid of the scrap. You know what he's trying I to do. Oh, oh, Jesus. Dire 
They just hit the shield to go through it. No, it's one of the rare abilities that'll go through the cover oh, shield. Okay. So, very, very useful. You are able to secure the power generator. Banshees come in there to avenge their fallen comrades. And I like how you utilize the separation of units too. Like if you do keep everything together, it can be a little bit rough if they then separate and go into somewhere, some other area. Yeah. Your chains are available. You're holding off. You're gonna. Yeah. There's no real reason to to hold off. I'm just. Yes, exalted one. As quiet as death itself. Summoning shadow specters. Light enemy force. Met. What big changes East are you currently <laughs> thinking about adding to Dawn of War 3 a week wow. before it releases? <laughs> <laughs> well, launching the rest of the game. That's uh, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's in the forefront of the thinking. That's for sure. I actually I got a pretty good belly laugh this morning because someone uh, getting warped in down there. Yep. Someone uh, <laughs> said, "When are you gonna start working on Space Marine 2?" No rest for the wicked. Oh. Good dodge by Byron. But you can see what happens when Elite just kind of goes off by itself. It is oh, out he's done. shooting in some, some boys. Oh, here's the rest of the force, though. Jane's is here, and no more elites for our orc friend. So you do hold the ground. I do, although I lost a bunch of stuff here. Let's from whence I came. Oh, he teleports to self cover. Yep. And is his shot good against buildings, or is it better? Uh, it's better against yeah. infantry, that's for sure. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We get a lot of questions about last stand mode. Um, oh, God. I think you guys have answered on numerous different fronts, but yeah, last care to comment again, I guess. Last Stand is definitely... The, so la for those of you who don't know, Last Stand was a, a sort of horde survival mode from Dawn of War 2, um, and a real personal favorite of mine. And I guess if there's like one thing that I wish we could have put in uh, with the launch, it was Last, last stand. stand mode. Um, but, uh, you know, fear not Last Stand fans, it's still close to our heart, so... Close to your heart, you're aware of it, you wish it was there, so exactly. I think you guys can infer the rest. Vehicle damage upgrade. Heavy enemy force met. West of your position. The game needs more grim dark. Bring in the dark Eldars, Necrons, Chaos, and all the horrors of 40k. I don't disagree, but everything needs more grim dark, right? <laughs> All out war being broken out here. Our webway assembly shall attain tier three, summoning oh a falcon grav tank. I did not even know about that either. Going for the falcon grav tank. What's your thoughts on bringing that in? Is that just because it's just generically good, or is he using something that you want to counter with? Uh, it's good against masses of infantry, okay. which obviously orcs are Upgrade complete. quite famous for. Oh, you're going for the trade. I like it. Trying to. So he's going for your shield generator. You can go after his, but also a resource a node there. Oh, I am floating resources like Summoning an idiot. Dark Reapers. He's pulling back. Nice thing about being a skimmer too is it gets there awfully quick. Exactly. I just now, today, Cat was telling me that it takes double damage as well if it 
in his back, right? It does. Go it ahead. does. That's, uh, in all honesty, that's something we don't do a very good job of highlighting in game. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it makes. Oh, you got it. Uh, we did. Tier three has been attained. The Dark Reaper is working on that resource node as well. Not bad. Not bad. A little bit of an army building up here. Enemy force engaged east of your position. Oh, getting mobbed, but here comes Jane. Uh, the cleave cleans away a lot of the line units. How often did you make it to 250 population? In my games, I found it to be pretty rare, right? Have you guys? Yeah, uh, it really depends on your army and and what you're doing. But in the in you know late games, you can, you can definitely get up there. It's a massive army, I will say. It I've gotten to like 220. It's gigantic. Absolutely. Which is awesome. Upgrading vehicle health. A webway gate is ready to serve us. Oh, let's go! I left them unattended. Move, 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 move. Kind of nice. So he got a couple of his abilities off, and to not too much effect. That's the shield, thankfully. See that I'm. There you are. There's a couple portals in this area. Summoning a falcon grav tank. Webway gate in transit. Falcon tank at your one thing I gotta do is clean up this scrap. <laughs> we have finished our task. It's very orcish for them to leave behind junk that you have to then clean up, or it becomes a problem. They are essentially fungus, after all. Oh, a couple of specters caught. So you're able to recharge your shields, now you're raining from above. Oh, you're right, they do pack a wall up to, to the orc squads. Right oh, I like that. And they're really mo uh, mobile as well. Yeah. It's, oh, it's so much trouble now. But they are skimmers, so anti-air can be a huge issue for them as well. Absolutely. We have upgraded vehicle health. Great. At once. A Viper shall join us soon. Folk underway. You guys were earlier saying you wanted vehicles, well here you go. What was more fun, developing campaign or multiplayer? You have oh. to pick a favorite child at this oh point Oh my god, this is to totally Sophie's choice. Um, you know, I'm a single player guy from, from long, a story guy, that's my background, so that's sort of always where my heart is going to be. And okay. At, at, as you probably you are judging my uh, <laughs> my multiplayer well, the skills oh, yeah, yeah. are a little you know can be a little lacking at times, but uh, I will say that I'm super proud of the multiplayer now. Yeah, the core team, Byron inc included, are much more responsible than I am for getting for getting it uh, quite so awesome. But uh, I will say that. I'm just really, really happy with how it how it's turned out, how we've managed to balance like all this chaos happening on screen and yeah. It looks good. Yeah. It's fairly balanced, it's awesome. You are making me a believer in the Falcons right now, by the way. The Falcon Grab Tanks is sick. 
Oh, you're about to get hit in the butt. I am. I got some gore guts in my butt, as it were. That sounded awful. I hate it when that happens. Gore guts in, in my butt is something that, like, outside of Warhammer could be a condition. It could be a situation. So it, it could be a situation. That's true. Yeah. The nice thing, too, is you've been doing a good job of spreading out your your webways. So, like, you just lose shield, pull back into the, yep. in the realm, into the field. You're up to 115 supply. You just spread it all out, so it's almost deceiving. But you have a massive army. Summoning a Viper jet bike. You have but to say it. I heed your summon. No, no, no. I do not want you to load in there. Let us journey. My other favorite thing about this being a, you know, Games Workshop Warhammer game is you guys are pulling people onto the internet that have never been around the internet very much. So I'm seeing in the chat a lot of like, excuse me, where do I download this thing called Steam? Or how do I... It's like, oh, man. Welcome. Welcome. Steam business. I've heard of, I've heard of is it Valve? Is that a cheese? Is it Velveeta? Yes. So what's your plan? You got these tanks, do some good harass, I'm but you're spread out here. Are you going to... Is it all group up, or are you just going to keep doing yeah, this thing and back and forth? Well, I'm going to try and do a little bit of back and forth, but... What I like about this is that, look at your map vision. Like, there's no chance for something to have gotten in your backfield and been a nuisance there. Not that orcs necessarily play that way. Although they can uh, drop rocks if they have vision. Yeah, definitely. Controlling. Well, you're actually... So two of the middle resource nodes, which is kind of that dead man zone where you fight, he is still controlling. Yeah. And I will, I will judge you on your floating money right now. Yes, judge me. <laughs> I am. Judge that, me. That is a well-founded judgment and a huge. Oh, I'm taking some hits. Here in the there we go. Shadow Strike is holding it. Banshee, a little squib, a little bit of a scrum happening here. Well, those are bigger boys. Are those knobs? Those are knobs, yeah. Oh, he grabbed your attention. He's attacking the middle resource node. Phil is coiling up, though. He's got a big army. Just above this guy. A very fast army, by the way, too, with those vipers. This. Oh, he sees you up there somehow. Uh, I engaged. I attack moved instead of moving, so. Um, that's my. Uh, Viper down. You're going for it. Slow here, going for it. It's main building here. Oh, oh they can actually almost. Even just three Viper or uh, Falcon tanks, rather, can almost take on that turret. Heavy enemy force met. Southwest. He's pushing into you right now as well. Phil's got a big army up here. They call an Elder Storm. This is what I love about this game is the, the, just how thematic it is, where there's just battles everywhere. And he, the high ground has been such a huge focal point for this whole game. Everything that comes up there is just dying. Does right. get one of the major objectives here, and it's going to get a building for yourself as well. 1,000 requisition, 200 power. Phil's spinning issues have just doubled now, yes. feeling the stress. Improving, securing battle focus. I money. Oh, here comes some killer cans. Chains are low in health. Man, these falcons. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cheese it. Dark Reapers answer the call. Oh, you're gonna try to set up a back door. 
Even our elite are tasting defeat this Sweet, day. beautiful justice. They did this to us earlier today. Cat and I were way ahead. They backdoored us and won. We're like, you gotta be kidding me. I, of course, fully blame Cat. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's the... Sure, it. <laughs> sure, it's totally Cat's fault. That sounds... Yeah, I, you know, that I, sounds fair. Women, women first. That's... It's the gentlemanly thing to do. Yeah, I'm, that Eldritch Storm helped me, but it did push back when yeah. I can get uh, Taldir, and I am currently regretting that decision. You're one elite point away from it. I am. She would have had... Oh, he's gonna... A bit of a, a bit of an interesting trade there. He does do some damage to that, but for his elite point, he's gonna have to pull all the way... Or his elite... Was that Gorguts? Yeah. He's gonna have to pull all the way back. Now you do have your Taldir. Get a lot of points for killing that um, that turret, though. Yeah, you do. The upgrade is done. We call upon the Falcon. So no fire prisms yet. Are fire prisms better no, at I single target? Oh, you I do have a fire prism. Okay. They've got really good range. That's okay. That's their their major thing. Whoa. Oh, he's coming to the high ground. You done goofed? There's a wraith knight up there, dude. Oh, you nailed it. Hit him with the slide. He's just out of here. He's just trying to get out of here. Here comes the sword hit. Shadow Spectre on the high ground helping out. Not so much a duel. Nice win there. A lot of requisition to spend. Company of Heroes 3 with no bugs, please. Absolutely. Absolutely. You just uh, slide in a quick little donation of $20 million. <laughs> no bugs. Work. Yeah. Oh. He's been trying to add <laughs> bugs. That's what we're doing wrong. I get it. You didn't explore the no bugs option? Ugh. Oh, such a silly mistake. Oh, you found him! Well, he's just kind of chilling there. He's gonna pay the iron price for that. Oh, oh but your back was exposed. So my. Mutual assured destruction. Yep. 20 million only? To get started? Sure, I mean, we don't see what capacity. <laughs> We'll go into the planning upgrade stages for a few years. Vehicle health upgrade. So what's your thoughts on... So I don't see you upgrading the resources very much. Is that something you do hold off on? or? Uh, well, I... Floating resources. So okay. Why upgrade then, I suppose? Well, it's a good idea to upgrade. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, children out there. Everyone upgrade your resource parts. <laughs> but... Do as I say. Doing it is harder than saying. Do as I say, way. not as I do. North of your position. The nightmare lifted. I am here now. Oh. We have a surplus. Adding Primarchs for Space Marines as elites. Oh wow. Well, they'd have to be really powerful elites. That's for sure. But like a twenty pointer. Yeah. But I do. Uh, I do enjoy adding those things. That's one of the things that I find fun about the elite system is yeah. that we can add so many interesting, and very cool things. Like we never could do James R before. Yeah. Ooh. What was that shot you hit him with? Uh, that is the uh, the fire prisms prism blast. Wow. It uh, it does some concentrated anti vehicle. Side. Damage and then a delayed explosion, which is more anti infantry. Cool. So, quite helpful. <laughs> so, guys, when I when I said ask questions, you got to take advantage of this opportunity. Questions like, have you shipped the pre-orders yet? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's the the best. I don't know. We have finished our task. It's like, guys, I have Elon Musk here. Ask questions. Like, yeah, I ordered something on Amazon six weeks ago. Actually, he doesn't have to know the Amazon. My bad. PayPal. Oh, hit him with the stun. 
Womp. He's got his big nasty over here. It's immune to it. Oh no, it's not. It's done there as well. Isn't it? Oh, the crits for days. Oh, bomb squig! What do the bomb squids do? A lot of damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> and what is this hue that you're in right now? Oh, you're recharging your shield, actually. Uh, I'm actually, I've got a, a hollow field around Oh, this. you're invisible. So I'm currently briefly... an invisible Wraith Knight? Briefly invisible, yeah. But I will also get the heck out of dodge. I am grandiose. Wraith Guard, hit hard. I love this quick sound. Did he just... No, he's there. What a battle. He's gonna drop his shield. Summoning Wraith Guard. There's the force field. Run! Both the mega elites are wounded. You can see the Wraith Knight, Wraith Knight bleeding out some vapors. It Get out. Will all elite units be modified to get able to be painted in the army painter as well? Uh, so all of them can take some colors. The story elites take less because yeah. they have a, like a particular faction that's part of their background. But uh, even they take some colors. And we have talked about uh, ways to unlock more coloring for them. Very cool. You know, it's sort of part of the fantasy yep. to be able to... Wraith Guard, answer the call. Relocating Infinity Gate. You're just kind of pull, pulling back, healing up here. Dark Reapers shall join the battle. Complete. Power seems to be kind of your choking point now, economically. There's the Shadow Spectres doing what they do best, though. I love them combined with that Fire Prism as anti-infantry. Yeah. And you have to shift attack scrap, right? Because they won't just automatically yeah, attack exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Here's a weird question that I should have tested myself, but if you see something close, can you shift attack that spot to shoot something, or no? If something's close, you can't attack it. Uh, yeah, if you... The, your only option for... If you know something is cloaked, but your unit, you don't... You haven't actually revealed it. Is uh, area effect attack? Okay. You're doing so much damage. It's just these shadow specters, but they are going to die. Presumably. But you just see that as a trade working on the objectives. That later, when you come back, will have less. Yeah, to go through. it does heal up after a while. Oh, okay. So I do have to press my attacks, but that's not necessarily a problem. Out here, but here comes the Taldir. A base structure is available to relocate. Summoning Wraith Blades. Pushing forward. Summoning Shadow Spectres. We've taken our time. Did he ever end up finding that gate that you had snuck up in the top part of the map? Uh, he didn't. It's still there. It does... That flank isn't open for attack, however, so that is a bit of a... Yeah. It's got the turret over there still. Oh! The big fight, the big duel. Shadow Spectres answer the call. Wraith Blades answer the call. Under attack! Oh, that scrap around. I did not even think of this high ground. Right now, your Wraith is basically occupying their attention. Three elites versus the one. 
No army support anywhere else so far. Oh, look how you maneuver to your back to do maximum damage there, too. That he did. Oh, oh, oh right down. Oh, Bill wants nothing. He just wants. He's just going for it. <laughs> oh, I made it invulnerable. Oh, Shadow Spectre. Just like that. How did they move that quick? They have a they have a melee charge. It's a targeted melee charge. Oh, so you're using that just to get them over there quicker. Well, I was I was hoping they would engage, but they did not. <laughs> yes. That's exactly it was what totally, he was doing. Totally, absolutely what I was trying to do. That's it. Is Gilliman in the game? No. Well, maybe. maybe no, he's not, not, not at somewhere. Large, no. But It'd be great. The model's wonderful, so yes. I would love to bring him in if I can. One of my favorite artists is painting at mine right now. Nice. Is this Viper on a one-way mission? Uh, he's apparently on some form of suicide mission <laughs> unintentionally. Show us the Thinking about it. Dark Reapers answer the call. I can't get over that. Its destruction will ensure victory. He's not wrong. Spin to the eye of the storm. All right. You know what? <laughs> it was a good effort. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of a beehive out there. Yep, that there is. That was more an attempt to see what was happening over there. But. How come his? Uh, oh, you're at, you are attacking. I was gonna say his his shield generator is taking damage up there. If that that is what that meter is up yep, there, right? Absolutely. Oh, oh, see, it takes a little bit of damage. I think I've got some. Okay. Shadow specters answer the call. Spent most of your money. You can see some army moving the left side, though. Uh oh. Death is not the end. Making a play. Yeah, here they come. Oh boy. He's just going for it. Initiating shockwave. Well, you have so much damage just very close by. Eldritch Storm is ready to cast. We have Eldritch Storm as well. But you just win! I did it! Yeah, you were just so close nearby anyways, the choice from him to kind of go up the left side was just leaving him exposed. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. So ladies and gentlemen, that was Byron holding back. <laughs> <laughs> Employee uh, status is still an on lock for him. <laughs> Very good. I actually, I, like I said, though, I learned some fun. things. Yeah, I, the warping around of the Bone Singer was really good. Very quick movement that way. And that's just their W, so it's on a cooldown, right? Like, obviously yeah. you can't, yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's good fun. I like uh, I like that arrangement of elites mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, you, you were mostly using Ronan just kind of as a scout, I guess, on the left side for yeah. the remainder of that. But his his damage dealing in the late game is not super great, right? Like, he no, can still hurt line troops, I guess. He can but hurt line troops, he can scout. The other thing that he can do, if you can time it right is if his shot hits a vehicle, it will stun the vehicle. Oh, okay. So that can be really critical at the right moment. My uh, my APM isn't really high enough to like coordinate him and a few other guys, but... Uh, he's definitely not an fun. A move, or like some of the elites are... Yeah. You know, Gabriel's really good at being like, you throw him in there, he's gonna do some damage. What is going on here? Okay. Rona not as much, I guess. I think we have time to play another one, guys. And if you have questions for Phil, I'll continue to relay them to him.
but that was a, a nice game. We saw some cool orc tactics as well. I did not know they interacted with scrap quite that much. I knew that their boys can pick it up and equip yeah. themselves. Uh, yeah, but so man. yeah, Wazmaka can turn it into turrets through a channeled ability, and uh, even if he has a, a doctrine where anytime you lose a vehicle, it will turn into one of those scrap turrets for oh, wow. a little while. So. See if I can invite. That's up there with Maka's Last Chance, which is a bit of a, a global, yeah, yep. uh, absolutely, very good ability as well. Because we see a lot of trucks being used by work players to lob their boys forward. And yeah, just very mobile. Ah, uh, he's going Space Marines. Should we do a Space Marine on Space Marine? Sure. All right. Let's see you set him up here. You like to go with the Blood Ravens, obviously. Right? Yeah, they're close to my heart, so. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, Phil has actually painted some of his own tabletop miniatures in Blood Ravens. You've been giving some gifts to it, I guess, as a, you have a yeah, Gabriel. Yeah, I got a kitbash Gabriel that uh, the team gave me, actually. Uh, Kyle, our narrative designer, is a big 40K fan and, cool. and uh, miniature painter, and he cooperated with the art team to get that for me. Surprised me on my desk. That was a lot of fun. Oh, really? It was a surprise on your dad? Yeah, that's, yeah, totally. Uh, that's how I, you know, my wife and I are terrible at holding, you know, surprise gifts, but that is still our favorite. Um, one person asked an interesting question, so you'll have to answer this in a clever fashion, but what can they expect from future DLCs? Like, what's your mindset, I guess, on where you want to take that? So, my mindset is we don't want to lock gameplay content behind DLC. Uh, so, uh, we envision adding to the game, uh, but the gameplay stuff being cool. just unlocked through skulls and, and so on. So whether that's new elites or new doctrines or, um, and then there'll be stuff like maps and so on that would just be added to the atmosphere. Um, I do see cosmetics as, uh, something that, uh, people can invest additional money into cool. if they want to. Uh, but that's not going to change their game. Very cool. Right? Like, you bought the game, you get the you get the game. Uh, so the Masters of War skins that we're offering as part of the pre-order, that's a good example of the type of uh, cosmetic DLC okay. that we'll be coming out with. Um, and then, uh, like I say, gameplay stuff will roll out over the course of the game. Very cool. Uh, let's see... Will there be more elites added to the existing races? Um, we would like to. Uh, absolutely. We, we do need to balance that with keeping the ecosystem of the game where we want it to be. So we'd like to sort of figure out where the holes are to fill before we start adding in a bunch of stuff. Okay. But there's so much potential in the IP that I would love to start adding a bunch of new things in there. I mean, that's one of the, we talked about Primarchs before, but one of the nice things is we could add elites that aren't directly Space Marines, for example, but that are sort of allied forces. Like, the, right. Imperial, the Imperial Knights are already there. That's, you know, that's an example of how we could do that. Uh, and the same is true for some of the other races or factions as well. Very cool. Uh, and this is, you know, We'll put you. We'll, we'll test your crisis management. One of the questions, and a uh, fair point, they're asking, "What are your thoughts on kind of launching without a observer mode of sorts?" Yeah, that's a UI. that's a um, that's a good question, and we took a look at that. Um, honestly, we decided that we wanted to put uh, some energy into slightly different places. Uh, the we you know. Observer mode traditionally is uh, support for casting and mm -hmm. esports. Um, we felt that with Twitch the way it is, we could scratch that casting bug uh, without observer mode. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely in the, the it's sort of on, yeah. I mean, it's on the whiteboard as okay. something we would like to do. The thing I don't want to do is just to do it because we've right. always been done it. I want to make sure if we're doing it, we're doing it right. Very cool. And it's uh, it's really servicing the the people who are going to use it, which are you know people like you, right. people who are uh, casting esport esports and so on. 
Um, so I want to make sure that it's it's what that community needs. Um, we intentionally didn't set our sights on esports as a day one target yep. for us. Now I'm super happy. You know, ESL is doing something yeah, during the beta, that. and uh, you know the game looks great and is really fun to watch. So I think there's there's a real potential there. But we just we wanted to get the solid campaign and slightly more casual multiplayer mm -hmm. um, that we're sort of known for up and running. And then, you know, if the community wants to move in that direction, then I'll be happy to move Very in that cool. direction. So, yeah, I mean, you guys, if, if that is something that you guys are motivated and excited about, then remain motivated and excited about it, and it may come in time. I, I think another nice workaround you guys have, too, though, is with replays, Sure, it's it's not possible to necessarily do the traditional live esports cast, but yeah. with replays you can still cast. You can still do a competitive match. Yeah, absolutely. Because you can watch it through that. It's in yeah. OBS mode of sorts. Absolutely, you know. So replays are a good way to look at matches and, mm -hmm. and sort of try and uh, deconstruct them, see from different perspectives, see what was really happening. Uh, so the, and that is launching with the game yep. day zero so and i'm, I'm stoked because even yeah. outside of esports uh when we play three versus threes you know yesterday with andy he's like i'm having a battle you know he's having a fight yeah. with me, but i'm focused on my thing too yeah. so i can't quite go over and, and watch this amazing battle but with the replay i can then watch later and, and be like oh this is what andy was dealing with or yeah. something like that and yeah it's a really important part of the game mm -hmm. uh, and part of how you learn the game too and how you get better is by playing a game and then watching what actually happened you know you because you so much of rts is trying to make assumptions as to what somebody else is doing inside right. the fog of war okay they're i think they're massing on that side so i'm going to react on that side or i need to scout or yep. I, I didn't scout so what's what's going to happen um, and then the the replay lets you go and look into that what what was happening right. there uh, you know, that's why we put, we actually, in the final game, uh, there is a replay flow, like, every time you come out of a match, you okay. have the button to save or watch your replay right away. But we also have replays living in this learn tab here. Oh, cool. Where, and that's also where there's tutorials, where there's the codex, which is our sort of game manual. Uh, and so it's a, just another tool to look through stuff. That'll be really cool. All right. Should we give this a try? Let's oh, do it. He's, he's going to go Eldar. Is going Eldar. Now, now Byron is, uh, you know, our core design team works uh, very cooperatively, mm -hmm. um, but uh, each of the designers, you know, would own a different uh, faction as part of it. And uh, Byron is Mr. Eldar oh, good. on the team. So, <laughs> uh, you know, the hit and run design, the the uh, the fleet of foot and battle focus auras around the the webway portals like those you know Byron brought those and champion them so uh, I'm a little scared. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you did win the last game too, so I yeah, feel like yeah, I think he's he's probably not going to let me off as yep. easy this time. But uh, I mean, I also think like. I really like the design of the Eldar in this game, so, you know, good work, Byron. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's give it a shot. I've got some uh, Doctrines here. Yeah, uh, what are you going with? So I went with Slow Death, which yeah. uh, makes the Flamers slow, which is nice. Uh, Blessings of the Omnissiah, which is a nice sort of passive that gives some healing auras around buildings for vehicles. And improved Listening Posts that make Listening Posts That's a, very good a one. lot tougher. Yeah. Um, those who's who um, you know there's there's actually in the final game there's actually two listening post upgrades for the space marines or doctrines there's this one and then there's tip of the spear which allows you to reinforce oh, okay. around them so you can do a sort of like double down on your listening posts and that that uh, that can be quite effective obviously you have to it's a whole doctrine used on that which is interesting too because it's yeah. and that's what I like about the doctrine system is it's like yeah, that's really good, but because you spent two doctrines of your three on listening posts, yeah. if the game kind of gets away from you about being about listening posts, then all of a sudden that's wasted, essentially. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let's give let's our do it. start. Thank you guys for the questions. Just keep them coming. Um, 
seen a lot in there. Thank you guys for tuning in as well. We're going to be going live for another hour and a half. Phil's with us for 30 more minutes, so this will be the, the last game. I think after this game we're going to raffle off a uh, collector's edition, I believe. I believe okay. so. That's great. So you guys are about 30 minutes away from that. Um, do not type raffle now. All I have to do is mention it. You guys, we, sh we should have taken more advantage of this. This is like Pavlov's dog here. It could have been... <laughs> really benefiting from this but it's in it's it's after phil's done we'll do that and then we're just going to hang out and play for another hour and we'll give another one away Tactical to end the stream okay so Tactical here i am received. but hopefully you guys are taking advantage of the open dawn of war 3 beta this weekend um Preparing for deployment. it is just searchable on steam and free to play if you already signed up you should have got a key if you did not just do that Servitor deployed. Any chance of a map maker competition? Could outsource new maps from the best of the, from the best of them? I mean, you guys have talked about there's yeah. going to be map making. Yeah, we are releasing the map editor on day zero um, with Steam Workshop integration. So yeah, that's absolutely a possibility. I, I, you know, I'm really proud of the maps that we've developed, but uh, I can't wait to see what the community. Does. There's more of them out there with the. Uh, Yes. Some talented folks out there, so you get ready to make some maps, guys. And who knows, maybe you'll see it played on some pretty big streams or by a lot of people. This one does as ordered. I signed up an hour ago and I still don't have the key. Dominatrix before we Point uh, before we alert the presses. Just go ahead and search for it on Steam and you could have it as soon as you can download it. This one follows his lord's instructions. Does Dawn War 3 have co-op? Just like Dawn War 2. Uh, not in campaign. You, yeah, the campaign is solo, um, but you obviously can play co-op in multiplayer. Uh, Grip asks if there's building hockeys. Yes. And then he's asking if there's location hockeys. Is there going to be location hockeys? Um, what do we mean by location hockeys? So in some games you have like a... You could hockey an area if you hit like F1 or F2 and it goes uh, that area. Uh, no, we have... You, we can only hotkey uh, buildings or squads. Yeah. So buildings or squads. Do these three races have a similar counter balance in relation to each other, similar to StarCraft II during the early stages? It's not quite as as rock paper scissors as right. the StarCraft II, I would say, but uh, they do are designed to have some early game balance. Like you're you're seeing it here, in fact, in that you know I just can't get out as many troops as uh, as Byron can at this point. His guys are much faster. His guys come with plasma grenades. You have to be kind of mindful of that. Absolutely. You have a drop pod, which I find to be very powerful, but if, if he's a smart, savvy player and kind of uh, avoids getting hit by that, it's just another squad being deployed. Yeah. So I would tell you from my own experience, and this, you know, I, I don't work for Relics, so this is unofficial, but it's... Oh yeah, but you you know better than I do. <laughs> You've certainly got more hours of StarCraft in you than I do. Well, I, I would just say I, I like the balance in the early games, because uh, I don't like um, symmetrical RTSs where, like, your gar your dire avenger is the same as their space marine. I think that would be pretty lame. They have their strengths and their weaknesses. Like if a pack of boys jump on your dire avengers, they're going to go down pretty quick. But if you're able to kite or land a plasma grenade, that's how you are going to be able to engage with them. And then space marines hit really hard, but are fairly slow. So if they have a losing battle, it's harder for them to get away. Um, so there's that kind of stuff at play, and it goes throughout all the stages of the game, which are really it's a sign of a good game. Oh, you already have Death Watch. Yeah, they're an early game. Now, one thing, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of feedback on the beta that the um, that the, de the the fact that the Death Watch are so early is is uh, OP. Yeah. Uh, well, one thing to keep in mind is that the other races do also have two and three point yep. leads. Uh, it's just they're not all in the uh, in the beta. So the striking scorpions yep. for the uh, for the Eldar and the storm boys for the orcs fill mm -hmm. that early game elite option. Well, what I like about them too, though, is like yes, they're very strong when they come out, but a two uh, most of if not all, I'll say at this point that I've seen of the two elite point 
elites really fall off in the later game. Like they, they have their roles still, which is really important. But yeah, they they call in Death Watch when I have a, a Wraith Knight. I'm, I'm it's like puny human, you know. Yeah. Step on it. If you can keep the Death Watch alive against a Wraith Knight, a vortex grenade's really good. the vortex grenade and keeping fire. They do percentage damage, so yeah. that's really useful. But it is hard to manage. <laughs> right. And we saw a lot of cool harass stuff too. Like uh, assault terminators are actually still very strong throughout all stages of the game. But we were playing against some of the designers yesterday, and they were doing a good job, of, like spotting, deploying assault terminators, and they'll drop um, a shield generator. They'll drop buildings, no problem by themselves, very quickly. Thought there was some cool resource management that way. Uh, one person asked an interesting question. He said one of the favorite parts about Company Heroes in Dawn of War was the camera rotations. What was the decision-making thought process in terms of uh, not doing that in Dawn of War 3. Yeah, so that was a, that's a big, um, it's a bit of a sort of risk-reward issue sure. for us, right? Like, um, sorry, I just yeah. found what I was looking for, we so just found a I'm, forward a, base. I'm a little terrified right now. Redacted. Talking and playing in RTS is actually, it should win you awards. If I could say so myself. <laughs> it can always be added later. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll ask Phil after this engagement for a... It's an interesting question. Look how far you can jump away. Get, gets away from the Banshees, jumps to the top of the guys. But then inside that fleet of foot aura, the Banshees haul butt too. Ready to jump. Doctrine Chapel completed. Never gonna make it. Ready, jets engaged. Jumping. Name your target. See if it shall be done. A listening like. post has been targeted by our foes. We're trapped in melee. Under fire. Our assault fit. marines readying for drop. Are there going to be voice packs, someone asks? That's pretty Another thing we're exploring, uh, see what's what's possible there. Yes, and, sir. you know, part of it is we also are, you know, wondering, like, what people will want to see in right. voice packs. So if you guys out there have ideas, Let I'd love know. to hear it. Because, uh, you know, often announcer generator. packs um, are about adding a the lot of personality. But we already destroyed. have announcers with personality. Yep. <laughs> so there's a bit of a dilemma it's there for us. But um, still... Lost the precious resource point. Yeah, there's a pretty cool common theme with you guys, though. Like, every time I'm hearing something being suggested or asked about... I mean, hopefully you guys are picking up on this theme too, but there's a common theme of, that's cool, that's interesting, we're thinking about it, let us know what you want, as yeah. opposed to, no! Yeah. Shut up! I mean, you know, I want to do all the things with right. this game, right? But... You can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. you know, not, well, not all at once. It's about setting priorities, really. Right. So what do uh, what do servitors have as their W then? Do they have an ability at all? Uh, yeah, so they can drop a. I actually did it earlier on this thing. Oh, it's a little. Um, An enemy force has engaged oh us. Oh boy, there's Maka. Very bad. It's a servo sculpt. Okay. Stay away from that spear, please. It is so appropriate to have Death Watch in this Space yeah. Marines versus Eldar match. Um, so yeah, I can drop a this uh, away from us. this, and if uh, the we enemy comes by, it'll sort of follow them around, gives oh, some, cool. some extra visibility. We kill team on it. I did not know that. I come well, on. That was not in the uh, the earlier beta, but. Yeah, we were kind of talking about the earlier grip in terms of the game having any support for tournaments. Right now they want to launch and uh, make sure that they launch with an awesome product for campaign and, and some online multiplayer. And if eSports or tournament play is to come, then continue to ask for it, need to be excited, and it could happen. Yeah, I mean, I, I am sure there will be... It will. I mean, yes, there's a tournament this weekend, literally. Yeah. 
Uh, I think it happened, it's either tomorrow morning or <laughs> like ESL. Uh, they're doing a European yeah, Dawn of War 3 tournament. It'll be the first of its kind. What's the counter to melee units? They're typically quite weak to being shot at. Because if they're not in melee, they're not doing anything. Yeah, so the big thing is uh, all of the races or the factions have an anti-blob unit, so heavy bolters, dark reapers, or ludas. And if you can slow down the, me the melee unit in any way, then they'll just evaporate them. That'll this has escalated to the second phase. pretty quickly. They will drop them. Orbital drop underway. The standard flies. Give me your All right. We have completed a requisition generator. So you dropped Sarah because you saw the majority of his force here, including Maka, I guess. Bring it down. Is there anything more metal than coming in a drop pod, running out with your chain swords, and going to work? I love the flamethrower upgrade too, because if they're not paying attention, look how quick they just dropped. They're just gone. Dead. Now you've almost kind of won the high ground here on this base. Now you've won a pretty big victory. Losing those buildings means they have to spend resources to make more. Yeah. Now he didn't lose the. Oh, he did get it out. He got the. Uh, he he got the warrior portal out. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to s start taking purpose, away some of his battle focus, really. That's my... Scout squad on route. Yeah, but now you control both the middle resource nodes as well. We've taken a resource point. A resource point that you can add nodes to. Scout marine squad deployed. Uh, coffee. Yesterday we, we spent actually the first 20 to 30 minutes of the stream showing off the new... Um, elite units for orcs, as you have specified, but all three races. So definitely check out the previously broadcasted video on this very channel. If you just go up there to videos. It's, it's yesterday's video. It's very. Uh, you can watch it at your leisure. Name your target. Scout Marines underway. That is the best way to see them. Otherwise, you have to wait until the game releases. The drop pod idea was really cool for the Space Marines. How did that come about? Well, there's always the inspiration from the 40k IP. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, though, Phil. Using it as a missile weapon that does damage. <laughs> it may have happened in a book, but it's not one that I read. So who, who gets the credit? Is there any one person uh, with that medal? Because that is Warhammer. Someone in England, when you guys did that, was like... I hey, blimey. <laughs> we never thought of that. So cool. Oh, killed my scouts. That was no fun. Uh, so just to jump in there, Living Hippo, because this gets asked a lot about Last Stand. It's, it's not that there's no plan, it's that they're aware of how exciting and cool it is. And just in terms of like priorities, it didn't make it for the launch, but they're they love it. Phil said he's a huge fan, so you can do with that what you will. Does Deathwatch choose between a flamethrower or the plasma? Or well? a missile launcher. Or missile launcher, okay. And that's better anti armor, this is better anti light, I suppose. Yes. The other thing that flamers do is they cut through cover. Right. So I was just trying to take out Oh, she statused me. No way. Call in the Terminators. Assault Terminators. I have to agree with the earlier comment though. The uh, the animation and just the general badassery of the drop pod is really cool. Is this game easy to pick up for a casual player? Um, I would say yeah. 
especially the single player campaign does a really good job of getting you introduced to a lot of the concepts and there's a nice tutorial section under the learning tab in the opening UI that, that gets you if you're a very much so a beginner player I would spend time there but otherwise um, as far as RTS's can go it, it can get you know RTS's in general is just a difficult genre but I think what one of the things Donald War 3 does very well is it's it doesn't punish you and make you feel terrible for for learning <laughs> which some others can so don't name names some games have a like base building I think is you know when you and yeah. I talked last time I was here that 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 is something that can get uh, it can bog people down Dawn War 3 has base building, but not super intensive. Keep going back to your base and working on yes, that kind of thing. Yes, it's not quite so. And I did yeah. not see this coming, but a lot of the bases in Dawn War 3 too are very... Like, when I watch you play, your base is all over the place. Oh, yeah. Orc players are very forward. Eldar places, bases are warping around. Show us a target. Teleporting. I love the teleport. Oh, he walked back into it! Oh no! And this is not Maka's forte. Not happy to be here. Are you timing oh, this? Are you timing it? Yep. Dead Maka. Do you get... So you don't get resources for killing Elite, but does it... Is it anything else other than it's just good for the fight, I suppose? Well, it's good for the fight, and if you pass the first time you kill them, you, they also spend more time. They'll, oh, okay. they'll take longer to respawn. So it's really like... Cool. He does not have an answer for these Terminators right now, especially now that you're... benefiting from the shield that he's providing you, which will go away when he leaves there. There's some Banshees, but they can take Banshees too. And look at how fast the shield generator is going down. Yeah, it's dead. But to be fair, Thunder Hammers and Power Fists, that's actually what they're supposed to do. Last cannon devastators are in position for orbital insertion. Command understood. Oh, nice. Just the roar of our sound word unto victory. Oh, God. And they have taken no damage, too. Well, with the standard, they had a shield there, too, so I did lose some assault marines, though, which I never feel good about. <laughs> My streaming after I'm done with this? Uh, no, I'm going to be jumping on a plane. I'm actually in beautiful Vancouver, Canada right now at Relic Entertainment. I'll get home late tonight. And I will be streaming tomorrow, so if you want to see me play some Dawn of War 3, I'm going to be doing like all day tomorrow. Um, and then Sunday, I normally do a role-playing show, but that canceled, so, oh no, I have to play Dawn of War 3 all day Sunday as well. Um, but while Phil's locked in battle, I will tell you my plans for tonight, which is I have ordered Mazithra cheese on Amazon, and I'm going to make a Mazithra pasta dish that I'm very excited about. You ask, you get the full answer. Mizithra. Dude, have you ever had Mizithra? I have not had. It's Mizithra. an exotic. Well, Let's see, talk and you've cheese. got a French background, exactly. <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, no, you take Mizithra and you grate it over a pasta that you just you burn butter and pour on, kind of like a sauce. Wow, this uh, this is sounding. What, Phil? This is sounding great. <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> you had me on. You, you had, had me my at seat. butter. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And it is what it sounds like, guys. It's a uh, you don't. You're not going to see Brad Pitt coming off a cardio workout and then making a Mazithra cheese pasta dish, but if you're not Brad Pitt doing a cardio workout, it's pretty great for the rest of us, I suppose. Dawn of War 3 cook show? Phil, thoughts, quick. Oh, that's... <laughs> in, in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, there is... Yeah. <laughs> There is only carbs. I think that is something they don't have plans for. I'll come out and say that on their behalf. The only thing that... So, that... 
you know what? I want to take that point and feel. Please feel free to comment after you're done cleansing the uh, galaxy of the Xeno scum. But um, I'm worried about. So this person comments they're worried about being more like a MOBA than an RTS. I am a dirty, dirty RTS snob, right? Like I, I, I um, we don't need to name names and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm a. I love RTS, that's my genre, but there have been bad RTSs, and there have been good RTSs, and I came into this very much so with the idea of, like, I hope this is good, and, I, and I'm and i telling you, I'm enjoying it, I'm having a good time, and it's not too much like a MOBA, while still utilizing some of those MOBA qualities, which I really enjoy, I think they add a lot. Um, but if you've been watching the last couple weekends, or my stream, and, or other streams at the, um, the last beta, um, this game could have fallen into the trap of being too mobile-like, where the heroes are way overpowered, but I find that you guys struck a really good balance and they're not like that. I'm well, enjoying it. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. I like, too, though, that you guys, um, speaking with different people on the team that worked on Dawn of War 3, they're not shy about saying as well that they, they like MOBAs. There definitely is oh, some MOBA quality to this. No, absolutely. Yeah. Like, the thing we wanted to be we set out to learn from MOBA is just like having some clear objectives and that gave us some pacing mechanisms. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we we Dawn of War is an RTS. Yep. There's there is no no two ways about it. Nope. It, it like literally it literally fulfills the requirements for that. It uh, and then it plays like an RTS and time too. Yeah. And strategy. Exactly. But, uh, to your point, and, and to what I've been saying for a while, it could have gotten to the point where one of the things that I think would have detracted from my from my enjoyment of this game would have been if it's like, well, there's a Wraith Lord, the Wraith Lord will kill 50 supply of whatever, it doesn't matter. And then that would feel more MOBA-esque or even Warcraft 3 or something like that, but it doesn't. Just You'll have to trust me until you play it. There is now a guy logging onto a second account to spam the same question. So here's what I'm going to do. In a very grim, dark kind of Warhammer roleplay kind of way, I'm going to continue to wait and see your commitment to that question. So if you get to like a fourth or fifth account, I'll ask him. We're going to test your metal. I don't get why people would say it's more mobile than artists. Well, I mean, people are going to say everything, but it's not. It's, like, literally it's not, so. And you'll see. I, I feel like that question comes from someone that hasn't played it yet, so make sure and get in that open beta, but, like, when you play it, I can't imagine there's a single person that's like, well, this feels very mobile. Like, it's like, well, what mobile have you been playing? Yeah. I mean, look, there are elements when people see, like, there's a turret and there's a, a power core that you have to destroy, like, Yes, that is something yeah. we looked at th yep. at the MOBA design and said, hey, that could work for us. But it works. I like it a lot, actually. It's really f it's a it's a fun mechanic. And I'm still I don't know if I'm, I don't know if bias is the right word, but I'm really enjoying the two versus twos and three versus threes where it's like coordinating between those objectives. Like, all right, we won that fight. Now let's push onward to the shield generator or the turret. Like. That's very MOBA-esque language, but I feel like it actually, I mean, and MOBAs came from RTS, by the way, that's where they evolved from. <laughs> yes, so exactly. we're not. Yeah, we're talking about like music genres and where they, you know, evolved out of. A drop pod is available. We have engaged a weak enemy force, westward. Downloading right now, she'll not sleep just to play it. Dark Templar 5, you have yourself a good time. I am excited about that, though. Can't wait to get home and play. We have engaged the fierce enemy force. Is it possible to tweak escalation phases for future balancing? I mean, uh, yeah, for future balancing, absolutely. It's that's one of the the ideas is that that was one of the tools that we had. A power generator is in jeopardy. Yeah. It's actually a lot of in. Um, someone, you know, like, grab me and slap me if I'm speaking out of turn, but, uh, we went out to dinner last night, we've been talking to a lot of people working around the game. I like, actually, a point that they made is that there's a lot of different places you can balance this game. So, like, if a Doctrine seems too powerful, well, you can either tweak the Doctrine or you can add a new one. 
Um, the escalation phases have a very complex fitting, but it's all engineered towards Sniper's escalating the game, uh, to borrow its own word. But then even the models themselves, the attack damage they do, the, the defense type they have. There's a lot of different places to balance, and I like that a lot. Favorite Space Marine unit that's not an Elite? Oh, mine? Yeah. Uh, Assault Marines. Yeah. It's hard not to look at that and think that's really badass. So you do have a Solaria, by the way. I just want to kind of oh, tease well that out look here. Oh, you. I like how the Solaria circles this little thing, and then it's like, nope, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Solaria. And there's that skin that you can get with pre-order, is it? Or it's yes, it? pre-order. He just walked right past it. She did, that's okay. I have to be careful here. Cause you got to show the missiles, though, on those. Oh, he's backing out. Okay. He's backing out. Even drops a shield. He Assault wants nothing to do with Solaria. The re took out my uh, my machine cult. That. All right. This is so. What I'm about to ask you, Phil, has been a question that's been spammed in chat for multiple accounts. That's all good. The entire time. Are you ready ask for this? Away. Do you have any plans on adding a campaign mode like that in Dawn of War, Dark Crusade, or Soulstorm? They were a great addition that added a lot of replayability to the game. Oh, so like a meta map, basically. Like sure. a big board game style. Again, to me, that one falls into the like, hey, I, I came to Relic to work on Dark Crusade. Like uh -huh. that meta map, a large part of it came from my heart. <laughs> um, so I absolutely want to do it again. Um, it wasn't what I wanted to do for the initial relaunch of, of Dawn of War. I wanted a more traditional linear campaign um, that would highlight all three of the factions, but I definitely think it's it's a, an area that we're going to want to explore okay. again, because... Deathstorm drop pod ready. Are we going to do Deathstorm? Death storms here. Can we get some Dreadnoughts up in this house? That's what Please, I'm, I'm trying to do, but... Please, the dreadnoughts. I need to build my this machine cult again die. because he killed it. A certain designer machine murdered machine it. it. He's a mean man. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the venerable dreadnought, we used that yesterday as well during that stream. Check out the VOD. But there it is. That question was answered. If you guys could all just yeah. uh, so I, I absolutely want to do a meta map again. Uh, this wasn't the right time to do it. Moving now. Orbital bombardment ready to commence on your orders. Okay, Campaign is great for SP fans, yeah. Point, it is my duty to oblige. That's one of the things that's kind of slipped under the radar almost with the we've been in all the betas we've been showing off multiplayer and having a good time with it, but I think you guys are gonna really enjoy the campaign. You guys they worked really hard on making that pretty amazing. Because sometimes with RTSs too the campaign can be almost a little bit of an afterthought, I feel. Yeah. You guys emphasize that. Absolutely, I would say, right? Yeah, no, we, we definitely... You have a new task it's a critical part of the Shall game be for done. us. You know, we stand on sort of two feet, right? Oh, Multiplayer is one. Machine forge at the ready. Oh, he's doing it. I love the animation. Because I love that directionally, it doesn't even matter where those missiles go, because they're just, they're guided, they're heat seekers. He's the Shadow Spectre. You know what you also have is the Orbital, which in the big fight you gotta show that off. Yep, I will. <laughs> Just sitting right outside. It's almost as if he designed this game. <laughs> Four Terminators. Oh, the Wraithoid's going down, though. He's been working on it for a while. Oh, did the right, did the right thing. Getting out of that. Oh, he is actually. What a booger. Ah, uh, it's like this guy's good at the game or something. Jeez. Gotta pull back. 
he's not going to make it. We buy us some help here. Follow, brothers. Assault squad. You got a lot of money. I do have a lot of money. You are totally right. <laughs> what a surprise. Phil's kicking me under the desk right now. Oh, no. Uh, why does it take so long for the units to move after they're clicked? Well, to be honest, you might be talking about Solari or some of these units. They're, it's because they're gigantic, yeah, huge things, and it's kind of that's that's part of the coolness of that. To be honest with you, like, uh, you should grab some banshees or something like that and see how they move. They're very responsive, very quick, unless they're engaged, which is also a part of the game. I would say where like, you know, I'm sure you've been in countless sword fights, but if you try to get away from a sword fight, it actually takes a little bit more than just literally getting away. Or you're going to get cut. Deployed. Uh, a calling for the finishing of the camera rotation. So last you had said... Oh yeah, so... One of the... <laughs> camera rotation is one of those things that is super fun mm -hmm. for a few seconds when you're playing around. Um, it does have... You know, there's some times when it has some advantages in terms of... Um, you know, what side of the screen you're on, and so on. From a development standpoint, it's actually really expensive. Yeah. Because it means we have to dress everything. Um, Interesting. To, you know, from every angle. Um, and we honestly, we wanted to put that, uh, that expense somewhere else. I think it's a sort of sound sort of silly. No, I, 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 I appreciate when designers talk about those kind of answers because that's actually like a decision you have to make about a lot of things that people, I, I don't think they connect those dots very often. It's like, it's not even just manpower, which is also time and money, by the way, but it's also resources involved. Solari doing some good work, but she's getting withered, weathered down, uh, down to her final like third of health. Oh, cool. Firing. Does that hurt yourself? No. Because that would suck. That would suck. <laughs> gonna walk it forward, and this thing wrecks, especially Wraith Guard armies that cannot get away very well. Oh, you're gonna go after the turret with it. That's a nice, nice call. Oh, it doesn't do much bit damage to, to so objective useful. things, though. I forgot about that. See, you think I designed the game. Yes. It's almost like there's a lot of things going into this game. <laughs> oh, there's a Dreadnought. Oh, Solari, you're in so much trouble. No. Oh. And the night explosion. Oh, she didn't melt down. There it is. Oh, cool. Locks everybody down, friend and foe alike. Why don't orcs and Eldar have a 10 point elite? Uh, they do, It's they're just not in the beta. The, they have, uh, uh, I believe their other walker is a 10 pointer. Now I could be wrong, um, I, ha I haven't looked at the, the score. But I think both, you're right. Both both all races have two super walkers, um, so it's uh, I believe they each have ten. So there's a uh, as well as the Morkonaut, there's a Gorkonaut, yeah. as well as Taldir, there's a ranged Wraith Knight, there's a Paladin Knight. Predator Annihilator readying for drop. Predator Destructor, readying for drop. Retrocite asks, how have they Predator not addressed the glaring weaknesses with Space Marines? How have you <laughs> managed to not do that, Phil? You have seen us for us what are the glaring weaknesses? They're great. Uh, I guess because we don't find them super glaring. Yeah. Uh, Put some sunglasses on that guy. But, you know, different races, different factions are designed for different players, you know. The, yeah. They... They definitely, um, thou cast the holy you know, standard? there's a lot of expense with uh, with Space Marines, despite what I'm demonstrating. Uh, you can actually spend your resources pretty effectively as a Space Marine. Well, there's a lot going on, but let's not forget you're doing a Q&A while playing the <laughs> yes. game. It's tough, guys. It's harder than it looks. 
Am I going to ladder any points? Yeah, I'm going to be uh, playing and streaming this weekend, and, and the excitement for me is not over there. When the game comes out, I'll be out there with you guys playing as well. So Camp Joe, a lot of questions about is X-Race going to be coming out? The, uh, the line that you're going to hear is tell them what you're excited about, but I can't say anything yet. Yeah. I want to do everything under the sun, so... <laughs> you know, give us some time, and uh, we will get to it. We will get to it. I do think these were the three right factions yeah. to start off with. They gave, they give us a really nice balance of gameplay. Oh, some of the most po popular, back. to be fair. You know. Trying to backdoor me. Assault Marine squad deployed. Oh yeah, you're just. We've upgraded vehicle weaponry. Engaging emergency recall. Your orbital's on cooldown for another minute and a half. He's going for it. Cannon team deployed. You have your drop pods though, too. Oh, what was that? Mass recall! Yeah, your assault terminators too. He just called the storm in on himself. Uh, oh no. He's going next level storm. Next level storm, okay, that's, I can deal with that. <laughs> Knock you out of there, baby. Oh, that's all it took, too. You just hit it. It's you gone. just need a disruption attack. Any disruption attack will okay. help there. Right. Were you able to win enough advantage to push on from this? Oh boy! Oh, the charge! The charge! The slicey, slicey charge! Poor Raythor just by himself, though. You have need of my fire. Here comes the mechanized forces. Without fear. Thank you, Klotz. He says, the game's looking great, Phil. You and the team did an awesome job. Can't wait to get his hands in the full game. Yeah, let's not forget, the. this is the next couple weekends are pretty huge. And if you guys got some nice things or anything you want to pass along, make sure and tweet it at him on the Relic Entertainment Twitter. Uh, Phil's got his own Twitter as well. They all have their own Twitter, so you let him know. Going for the win. Trying to, but probably not going to make it. Our holy standard is cast. Oh, here comes some stuff. Come on, the storm. We are ready there. We are still human. We hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. We are a roving shrine to his glorious predator. Oh my God, that predator shot. Victory hinges on us. They, uh, like, two-shot Guardians. I mean, they are just Guardians, but... There it is! Dire Avengers, please! For dire Avengers. I, to be honest, that's, like, the Jif Gift thing for me, where I'm like... <laughs> to me, it's very close, and I know in the fluff they're very different. One is the Militia, one are actually Shrine Warriors, but, like... Yeah. I, I, I get afraid in my head internally every time, and I say the opposite, and then someone's like, it's the other one. I'm like, Aah! I have, like, a little existential moment. All right, that was a lot of fun. Um... And we're at 3 o'clock, so I think... Uh, awesome. Well, thank you so much, energy. everyone. Um, I believe we're going to be starting to give away one of these soon. Is it the hammer? Oh, no, you mean the collector's, the whole collector's edition. Collector's yeah. edition? You just get the hammer. <laughs> and the way it works, you just hit your computer with it, and it downloads the game for free. Uh, All but yeah. right. So, Cat, how do you... How do you even... Uh, you want to take over the seat? Cool, yeah. We'll let you guys do this. Oh, I'll do it. Okay. Okay. I revealed to everyone that I'm wearing pants. Which one? <laughs> open. And now it's open. So now type in exclamation mark raffle. Uh, Phil, thank you so much while they're doing that. They're going to be typing in there. That was great. Thank you so Good much. Good to spend time with you again. So much fun. Any parting words? Uh, <laughs> I just I'll see you guys online during this weekend. See him online? <laughs> yep. Come Are on, you going to be out there playing with play. the plebeians? I will. I will. Uh, I'm hidden out there. I, I, I 
keep my ID on the download. The download ID in in the beta, but uh, yeah, I'll be out there. All right. If you Great. see someone floating like six thousand uh, resources, it's probably Phil. So just go ahead. And yeah, and and murder me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Man. Thanks. All right, guys. I'm gonna switch with Cat. She'll be uh, manning us for giving away another copy of the collection edition. So make sure and just type in exclamation mark raffle. Hello. We are back. Back if I see. Okay. Do you feel at home there? I do. It's warmer over here, so I'm like, uh. Eh, <laughs> so so just back to the, to the the warm side, essentially. Yeah. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's really cool. Let me just say this too, by the way. Uh, it's incredibly awesome to see a lead game designer willing to go on stream and play games because. The like strange stereotype is that if you've worked on a game, you must be god tier, very good at it. But what's obviously not true is they spend all their time making the game, so being good at it is like something that's kind of true while everyone's first touching the game, but is quickly realized is not really true. So it takes a lot of guts. It's very brave and very cool to do that. Um, a lot of game designers and people that work on games won't actually show their play because people are like ready to be kind of uh, hurtful about it. But it's very cool that he did he did that. I think that's awesome. And you guys were really nice, by the way. There was actually nobody being... There were great questions yes. about the entire time. The chat I'm seeing, there's... We'll see. They loved him. They didn't say a single bad thing. Uh, so this must be all the positive people. It's very good. <laughs> Alright. I think I'll give this like another 10-15 seconds for the okay. raffle here. We are giving away a collector's edition, so this is quite a big deal. This is the big one. This is the big one. And one, one more the at the end, I guess, right? So at 4 o'clock, another one. So that's in uh, about 50 minutes, guys. If you don't win this one, stick around, and in 50 minutes, another one will be going out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and draw now. D. Howler. Congratulations. Wow. You have won a collector's edition. So I'll be sending you some more uh, instructions shortly, but congratulations, man. Boop. Very cool. You make the same sound I do, and I, I go, boop. I, I don't know. Boop. It's... It's like an unconscious thing. It just happens, mm -hmm. you know? All right, here we go. Now, I believe we are going to be heading into a very short break okay. after this giveaway, but then we will be back for some auto-matching 2v2s. Ooh, auto. All right. Yeah. You're going to have to try hard then. <sighs> okay, you got to go Eldar. Are you implying I don't always try hard? Uh, When you're playing Space Marines and Orcs, you're not. You no. can't be. No. You're try-harding with them, but that's yes. not the race that you try hard with. Exactly. Exactly. I came here and I played one game of Space Marines to give you guys an idea of what <laughs> what kind of person I am, so I've been tryharding the entire time. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, I guess so many leads. There's a question I see that uh, we answered earlier, but for those of you who are just turning in, there will be dedicated multiplayer servers, and those will be throughout various regions as well, so there won't be any P2P connection there. Cool. Very good. He had it completely different. All right. All right, I'd okay. say we're good to, uh, to start our break, and then we'll be back in around 15 minutes. We'll play one game and be, be good, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a uh, about 15 minutes. See you shortly.
Alright, welcome back guys. Thank you for your patience. We are going to play one quick match game here on the open beta. I'll go ahead and get us started, actually. Sure. You don't have to pick oh, but I don't want to play Space Marines, yeah, you gotta though. Go try hard. We gotta win. There no, go. not gonna play Space Marines. We're gonna go make a try hard mode. We're gonna search for a match, so if you want to queue up with us, you can try. And then after this, we will be giving away the last collector's edition um, of this two-day streaming thing. If you're just joining us, or if you missed yesterday, you can watch that VOD on Twitch, so make sure and take advantage of that if you sound if you want it. All right, I think I'm good to go. Are you good to go with your loadout? Perfect. Pretty sure. Pretty sure this is what I want. Yes. All right. And here we go. In these accounts, well, we'll see. I'm just gonna follow up with a couple questions I see here in the sure. chat. <coughs> but it's been fun, guys. Thanks for being such an awesome audience, by the way as well. Really great great questions. I think uh, Phil enjoyed himself and you guys were really supportive and nice. And he won his games. He won both. He so did. you know what? Phil might have a better win rate than we do. Which... Not cool, man. Not, yeah. Not cool. El Grosso and Iwari Z, or Iwari is, maybe? But an orc in space ring against two Eldar? I like All it! Right, well, we'll see how this goes. Wish us luck, guys, in the chat, please. Oh, we may need it. it. Select your loadout, that's kind of new. It's just giving us a, a little bit of extra time in case people queue up without realizing what they should be doing. Did you personally select my Mira, or is that... I did, yes. Oh, nice. I am a fan. Fan of Craft World My Mira. They have very cool looking, uh, almost like an iridescent, like, bluish green, which hmm. kind of reminds me of, like, certain types of beetles that I find very cool. Nice. Alright, we're in. Wish us luck, everybody. Cheer for us. Oh, uh, so a question from ZMoney925 for you, Jeff. Okay. What was the type of cheese you were talking about earlier? Mizithra. How do you spell that? It's like M-I-Z-I-R-I-T-H-A, I think. God. Something along those lines. It's a dry cheese that you... I don't know what other applications would be. It's it's close to a goat cheese, but it's not nearly as creamy as that. It's like a salty cheese almost, I would say. Mm. But I'm partial to halloumi. Halloumi mm. is the best. So delicious. Grated over... Salt. If anyone's ever heard of Spaghetti Factory, that's where this meal actually comes from. <laughs> but but Mazistra cheese grated over a just spaghetti or like rigatoni type pasta with butter is just amazing. Amazing good. I am Greek! Okay. I was trying to figure out the context for that. I was scrolling up, but... Oh, feta? Yeah, kind of like feta, too, but feta's also creamier than mazither. Mazither's a dry, salty cheese. But delicious. You Try hard mode, engage. Alright, I'll go for this ball point there. Now we'll capture that. The Avenger Shrine shall send its warriors. I have now learned about the teleporting of the Bunslinger. Yes, it is pretty great. I usually just cap one point that's close to me and then warp into the middle. Yeah. It's very, very helpful. I have not been using the hollow field from Avengers either. I think what we should do is do a more concentrated effort. So I'm just going to kind of follow you up top with my Dire Avengers that are coming out. Because okay. in the past few games, we've tried to really separate in the beginning. And I think we found that even if you hold that elite point in the bottom, like for almost yeah. the entire game, it doesn't help you as much as you might think. Oh, shit. He's here. He's building. All right, I have two Dire Avenger squads coming up that Me way. Me too. So this is actually really good for us. Yeah. And my Dire Avengers, I have a Doctrine to give them stealth. And we just gotta, we gotta kill that Watt Tower. Thankfully, Watt Towers don't have a lot of health. Yeah. So, it isn't the worst thing. And they've also abandoned it, so they've stopped construction here. 
And actually, what's good for us is that they didn't scrap it themselves, so they would have gotten some refund of their resources back. But thankfully, they didn't they didn't do that quick enough, so we took that from them, which is very good. I'm going to send one squad off to the side, because I don't think we've actually kept that point yet. The other one, I will... I'm going to send my... Hover. My bones are to get the left side ones. Let's work towards the middle. Okay. With all our forces here, we should be able to absolutely. Oh, you already captured this, actually. So let's go to the right side. Let's go to your side now. So I have a listening post constructed here. Do you want me to scout ahead? Because I have the stealth on my guys. Yeah. I'm not sure if you have them as well. Let's try to do. All right. Oh, I just saw. There's a bunch of boys in here in this stealth cover right up top. Do you see them? Okay. Yeah. Let's get them. We must be patient. I'm going to throw Plasma on you so you can kind of back out a bit. And one more. Oh, they're going to try to find me up here. Ah! There we go. I kind of broke it with stealth. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was pretty helpful for me. And I'm going to start working on some Banshees now, because I do have an improved screen for them. Oh, you're getting some, okay. Yeah, but that's like way back at base, so it's going to take a little bit longer. I think we are probably going to want to get a web wing up here as soon as we can, so okay. I'll send a bone singer up. I don't have one a little bit closer. We could press... Yep, I'm with you here. Get in that right side on the wall, are you? A power generator is complete. I'll help you on this generator because an early generator would be Amazing. exactly what we need. So as you can see here, actually, what we're attacking the shield generator. You see how far back my Dire Avengers are? That's yeah. because Jeff's Dire Avengers are actually giving me that vision. Dire Avengers are interesting in that um, they can actually shoot farther than their own vision range. A lot of units can be like that. Um, so if you have somebody scouting ahead for them, you can get a lot more use out of your Dire Avengers than you might normally. And in this case, it's working out very, very well for us. Space Marine player's been pretty vacant. He's been pretty quiet, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I have Banshees coming up as well. Are you working? Yep, I see your webway gate. Perfect. Power generator complete. And as you can see, we have a ton of squads of Dire Avengers here. We have like, I mean, how many is this? That's five squads. And it's yeah. still taking us quite a quite a while to chunk this shield generator here. So. They can power, they can turn on the shield. Oh, here they come. I think I might just actually walk around this way. Good. See if I can get the jump on them a little bit. For these tactical marines Oh, they got marines the shield up, here. so we're gonna, I'm gonna back up. Yeah, but the attack marines back here are not in the shield, so I've got a couple yeah. plasmas. And actually, if you get your banshees over here. The banshees are coming. I'm gonna kind of scoot this way. Banshees are here. Um, get Banshees are here, so on, I'm going to back. Let's yeah. get our fleet of yes. our shield back up, brother. So as you can see, it's quite important to note at which point you get into your fleet of foot influence. So that was right around this spot. So if we're into any trouble, this is the spot where we're probably going to be able to actually create some distance between ourselves and our pursuers. Okay. Oh, they're coming. All right. Oh, whoa. Hello. That's a lot of people. Oh, they're trying to get into that Still stealth grenades. cover up here, looks yeah, like. Yeah, they're in the stealth cover. Oh, quite. There they go. So it'll be harder for them to catch us here as soon as we get into that wave of influence, you see? I have a lot. Um, I'm, I'm going to pick up those tactical marines that should kill the squad right there. Locking them up with the banshees. More banshees. Here now. I'm gonna send the Banshees in to lock them up. Hang on. Whipping up the plasma. Nice. You stun them. And that's also because I have a doctor. Oh, they got a Watt Tower in there! I don't like it. Good spotting, though. I'm able to turn it on the scene over here. It's good to know. Um, if we can get vision, I'm just gonna send these Banshees straight in there. Uh, yeah, you'll actually drop The Watt Tower it. doesn't do a lot. Oh, no, there's guys in there. There's guys in there, but a couple of those squads are quite low. I've got a blind on that scream. i got Maka coming up. Come in with uh, some plasma grenades to help out. Okay, I'm just going to try to run my banshees out. Yay, I saved both squads. Oh! It's okay, we're winning. Wow. 
Can we kill that tower? We can actually yeah. kill that tower. We can get vision on there. Oh, the tower? No. I, you know what? Oh, we already did. Pull back. Ah, get out of there. Run! I'm just going to move my guys back. And I think what I might actually want to do is build a forward base up here. So I'm going to go ahead and build a boat singer. Send her up. Get a warrior portal down. And that will give me a forward reinforcement point, which will be incredibly helpful. Oh, we weren't getting recl rec reclamation. We can start working the right side over here. If you want to, where's your force? Do you I don't have a lot. I have just a couple squads. But if we continue pushing up on the left, okay. I am building, um, or will be building. A warrior portal up here, so I have an, an easier reinforcement point, essentially. I don't have yeah. to send my guys all the way back. Let's see, are you doing the same thing? I'm going to be able to it's move easy. my webway portal here in a second, too. Oh, that's perfect. You've been teching up? Yeah. I'm focusing a little bit more on unlocks, but I will get to this soon. Yes. Look at that wall again. Hear it around. They're coming. Okay, I'm doing some help, 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 help. Coming, coming, coming. There's a lot. There's a lot going on right now. And she's are going in. And Jane's are coming down. She'll help out quite a bit. Alright, Jane Zar. Hello! Hi, Jane Zar. How's it going? Whoop! Hi, Jonah! Dark Reapers shall join the battle. I lost a lot of my stuff, but okay, I got the stun over here. You can there. jump on this uh, guy. Wazamaka? Or. Yeah. The elite. Whoop! I see you hiding in there. He's gonna try to teleport out, probably. Alright, I don't know how much farther I can chase him, but... No. Perfect, perfect. Go for him. Keep going for him. He's gonna probably try... I've got my charge up in just one second here. Nice, this, nice, nice. I think you can do it. Well, maybe not. I'm gonna see if I can get out of range of the wall tower. I'm not 100% sure. James, Get out of there! Oh, there's a tower. Oh, there's guys under me. Okay. Let's see, can I do it? Nope. I'm just gonna back out, keep it safe. I'm yeah, sure we can get this uh, with another force soon. Yeah. Whoop. Want none of that. I am I am upon the path. I need to control it. group my dudes better. You got a big arm. Yeah, it's not bad. I just need to kind of get back, heal up a tad. And then just continue to make Shall more. I'm gonna start with some pretty annoying ranger spam here because that's always fun. Summoning Dark Reapers. You are wise to come to me. We will win honor for our... We go to war, my sisters. My sisters. I'm gonna Natural probably give this a quick strike upgrade two. here. Oh, nice, you got Dark Reapers out? Yeah. It's gonna be really helpful for us. If we have a Bone Singer, do you have a Bone Singer up yeah. here? Yes. Um, you could repair that listening post, I believe, if you just go right click on it. Done. I'm digging the webway gates that. Like, I haven't built a webway gate yet, and I'm just benefiting off of it, which is yeah. really leaving up my resources to build a much larger force than I would have been able to otherwise. Okay, I have three squads of rangers coming out soon, so I'm just working on building that now. Scout out up here. Yep. And I believe you have that doctrine with your dire avengers, so you could stealth those in. They're not dire avengers. Alright. 
upgrade some of our resources. It's looking pretty healthy there, yeah. Quite a bit left. God dang it, that's not what I wanted. Do you need some backup here? No, I was just poking. Uh, I might, I mean, if they come out, yeah. Yeah, because I'll, I'll be ready in just a moment. Just have a couple more squads to get ready here. Yeah, I was just poking the bear a little bit. I should probably make my own webway gate so I can start teleporting now. I'm just upgrading our resources. Yeah, that's perfect. And that's what I really like about the, the team-oriented uh, mode here, is just that like I can focus on one thing, Jeff can focus on another thing. But together, with our powers combined... We are Captain Planet. Thank you. Thank you for finishing that for me. Warms the heart. Alright, I have uh, uh, just a stupid amount of rangers right now, if you want to be really annoying. Yep. I s start poking at this. I'll s if you can... S Hide yourself and then scout. I'll spy with this. Go ahead. How long does this this stealth last here? Oh, I think it's just it's until they take damage. So let's save our guys. Attacking. Here you go. You have a gigantic army. Make sure and get the banshees up in that objective. I'm oh, hear that wall. I see the wall tower there. Ah, what's that? They're all up oh, there. Oh, okay, I'm going, I'm going up this way. Alright, Dire Avengers, careful there. We gotta drop. We gotta get Banshee in there. Got some, I got Jane Zara in here. She might have to. Heavy enemy force engaged. Relocate. Watch out for that guy. Keep it, these guys. We're gonna take this shield generator, and we can probably stand to just just back out of here now. Or are you bringing in? What are you bringing in? Oh. Oh, we got him for sure. Come here, you. I could just get one more ranger shot on that. That should be it. I have vision of him though. No I'll just take that squad then. I'm gonna I'm go back uh, for quick reinforce. Did we get the point? Oh yeah, we did. We got the shield generator, yeah, so that sets us ahead by quite a bit there. And I have uh, just a, a lot of requisition here. So I need to be. I upgraded our resources. Perfect. What did you do there? Infinity portal? Nice. I actually... Where's my bones? Alright. Um, so we have that objective. Here, Their base is right there. That'd be a nice... I think we should go towards the right side. The upgrade is done. Yeah, we can totally do that. If you'd... Oh, if you'd like to do that, I might actually just want to teleport my gate over there. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Well, I think I need vision of this, don't I? Relocate complete. I'll move my bone singer. I'll warp her over into some stealth cover. We have finished our task. Vehicle complete. And Infinity portal in transit. Okay, I'm teleporting that over, and I'm gonna kind of get ready to start moving my guys. You, you, have, you have a lot of buildings over here. I built two of the same thing. You did. Well, you know, now you can just pump out squads a little bit quicker. That's so funny. It's not even Dark Reapers, it's uh, 
Wraith Guard. That I can get. I got a backup, you guys. That's why I did that, for sure. I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna bring some uh, Wraith Guards through. Improving vehicle weaponry. As soon as my teleportation works. Whoop. There we go. I am oh, oh no, I see there. you have some friends here. So do I. Gonna get rid of those Ludas. They're too powerful there. Oh, I'm gonna go for that weird boy here. Come here, you. James nice. off! In the house! Yes! Yes! Oh god, Jane Zar, don't die! I'm gonna teleport her back to base, and that's like kind of the great thing about having that connection here. Jane Zar almost died. And I'm literally just teleport her right back to where oh, she can heal up. Left side. Jonah. Coming. Get this dude. Boop! Look how much damage that is. Ranger spam is just. just something else. They have a forward base here, so we absolutely want to take that out. And then I think we're in a really good spot to push a shield generator here. Uh, but there is a Gabe, so just watch out for him and the stuns. He'll definitely try to rock the, lock down the Wraith Lord there. Yeah. And that is going to be his goal in life. Heavy enemy force met. But we have a lot of Wraith Guard, which is going to help out a lot. You're dead, Gabriel. Let's back up a little bit. I mean, you're no, you gotta, you can do it. So thank you. We just really want to get rid of that forward base. I know there's something in stealth cover up there, but I don't really have anything that's able to scout super easily. I'll show you. Oh my! Yeah, pretty good. Shoot that. Oh, this is the other power generator too. Go ahead for that, yep. Where did my Jane Zara go? I yeah, lost her somewhere them. around. Come, Jane Zara! Light enemy force engaged. East of your right. position. I'm just kind of grouping my guys up. Relocating sky portal. Relocating warrior portal. Did we get that? Um, yep, and I've got we red building it as well. What are you looking at? We got the power generator. Yes. Complete. So I'm just backing my guys up so I can control group them a little bit better. They're a little jumbled right now. Oh shit, they're behind us. Are they? Oh, coming back. Alright, jeans are. Get in there. Nice. So I should probably. Dark Reapers shall join the battle. Upgrading infant securing infantry health. Upgrade. They have one point off to the side, so I think I'll just. Oh! What's Is up? that a falcon or a fire prism? Fire prism. Nice. But I'll get some falcons. They're really cool. I just need power. Oh, we can get this resource over here. Yep. Oh, you already done. Heading down. Oh, some people here. How's it going? Yeah, fire prisms are just amazing. And again, they work very similar to Dire Avengers in that their rate or their range of fire rather is a lot farther than what they can actually see. So you have something, perhaps a stealth unit scouting for you, and it can do a ton of damage. They're actually really, really good at taking out turrets for this reason, because they outrange turrets. Fun fact. Oh! Ow, little Taldir. Hello! You got him. 
You can relocate base I just need to like control group my dudes. I think we can do quite a bit with this. Yeah. Oh, they're going left side. Let's not backtrack. Let's no, just I think we just just kind of start push pushing into it. Yeah. So if you go from that side, I'm going from the other side. We have lost a power generator. The foe has destroyed a requisition generator. We have lost a requisition generator. Alright, so Taldir's gonna go in, she's gonna start soaking that up. And I'm gonna start. There we go. We have lost a resource point. And you're dead. Dark Reapers answer the call. Head towards. Oh, it's actually. We can go for the win. We probably could, yes. Instead of messing with the other turret. Yeah. I'm just gonna get my rangers a little bit further ahead to scout for us here, but I'm pretty sure. We're in a good spot. My very slow wreath card just lumbering in. Enemy force met west of your position. Dark Reapers at your command. Just win. Go for the W! Oop. Let me just kill it so fast. G G. Nice! A good game to uh, to finish with there. Yeah. But also Salt cleanses off. It does. It does. And I mean Eldar are awesome. Eldar we are both awesome. have a, a very big bias towards the Eldar, but <laughs> I mean, even if you, I think even if you took out the bias, Eldar are still pretty—they're cool. really fun. And I got I I gotta say, like uh, next when you guys get the full game, the shooty wraith night, which you saw yesterday, so fun. <sighs> there, I'm really biased. Yeah, the yeah the wraith knight is fantastic. I mean, Taldir is pretty awesome. She can combo actually really well with Maka. But the ranged Wraith Knight is just... Destruction. There's something about that, like, drive-by, yep. like, double cannon, just... Ugh. Just kind it's of sliding good. in, doing all the damage. It's, it's so good. Sick. They were not bad, though. They had some good ideas. I feel like... Uh, absolutely. They the did a lot did a in the bit beginning. More lifting. Um, in the beginning, there was... The orcs were absolutely kind of really trying to sit on that top point. And I think what really got for us there was you built a webway gate, mm -hmm. we scouted, so we knew, basically we knew that there was a forward base and a wall tower just behind that top point. So we were like, okay, let's just go kill some units, go yep. back. I mean, I lost a ton of banshees there, but again, I think it's okay in that early game because that refund cost uh, with the beginning escalation phases isn't so tough. So it's yep. kind of worth throwing a couple banshees their way um, because it's worth it with that improved scream on the doctrine. And then essentially we just kind of kept Again, what Eldar are good at is just the hit and run. It's just come in, do damage, go, and we were... You placed that webway gate so well that the edge of the webway gate where our fleet of foot kicked in was really unexpected for yeah. those players. So they'd be like, yeah, we got him! And then we'd all of a sudden just speed up and get out of there. And so it was really tough for them to actually commit to that fight. Agreed. Let's see. There yeah, your chains are. Did a lot... See there, I hadn't actually looked at the stats yet. I didn't even use my Maka at all, actually. I went for Jane Zar and then I just held out for Taldir. Which I think was exactly the right call. Jane Zar came in and was a huge impact immediately. She still has really good wave clear, um, but can get in to the heavy cover and do some mm -hmm. damage that way. She's okay in the early duels as well. Obviously, later in the game, she falls off a little bit in that sense. She can still hit line units really hard, but. Yeah, absolutely. It's that Triskel is just really good at chunking the, the tactical marines or even boys. It's super, super good at that. And then I basically just... There's a good combo you can use with, like, uh, throwing her Triskel and then jumping over it. But I find that that's... It's such a commitment that, like, once yeah. you're in the battle, you're stuck. So I usually just throw the Triskel and then I run in because she's still quite fast. And then when I'm like, okay, I've lost my, my battle focus, my shield, I'm not healthy anymore, I actually just save that dash to just get out. And yep. I find that that makes it a lot easier. And then at that point, we had a webway connection bot. 
So I would just port her back to base and then she heals very, very fast and just comes back and ready to go. Absolutely. All right, well, I think that brings us to the end of the hour, which is where we're going to give away the last collector's edition. So you want to open it up now? And Absolutely. So just one second, don't raffle just They're yet. They're going to do it. There's no stopping <laughs> it. There's no stopping it. They'll do right, it. Let's see here. All right, the raffle is now open. Type exclamation point raffle to enter for a chance to win a collector's edition and a sweet model of a demon hammer, which is very cool. Very Jeff, cool. if you would. Yeah, oh, it's right here. Wave it around. There this it is. Thing. It's really substantial. I can't say it enough. It's uh, This is not a flimsy piece of plastic. This will be a nice paperweight on a desk. You can hang it on a wall. Does it come with that stand I saw? It does. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have nice it here. It's a desk ornament as well. Yeah, it'll stand straight. It's very cool. But yeah, really cool. And then, of course, Collector's Edition. Get some good stuff. So type in exclamation mark raffle. This will be the last one. Uh, it's been a nice couple of days. I want to give a huge shout out to all you guys for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Make sure you click that follow button so that when Relic Entertainment does more things on the stream, you'll be notified via Twitch. Uh, you can have it set so the emails do it or just the channel itself. And then stay tuned. A lot of the questions throughout the last couple of days have all been about what's coming in the future. Um, from what I've experienced, Relic does a really good job of teasing those things and showing off what they're thinking. But uh, they want to launch this game first and then start rolling out the cool stuff post post the launch. I'd like to have a solid foundation. That's, I know, a question that comes up so many times when, um, you know, 40k is an amazing universe and everyone has their favorite factions or sub-factions, as it were. Personally, I'm a Harlequin person. Um, I don't know the last time I've seen, you know, a Harlequin video game. I wonder when. Hmm. I can <laughs> hope for this, but I totally get that. I think everybody here in the studio feels that. We absolutely understand and we're listening. Um, so always keep letting us know what you'd like to see next because there's absolutely more things mm -hmm. in store. It's going to be fun. So we'll give it a few more moments here, guys. Type in exclamation mark raffle. Otherwise, you are not eligible to win. It's just the way the, the bot works. has to know that you're there. All right, we're going to head and draw in like 10 seconds or so. Last chance. All right, here we go. Whoop. Oswald Scarsol. Oswald, congratulations. There we go. Oswald Scarsol, congratulations so much. Um, you won a collector's edition, and I will be sending you this information shortly. All right. I still see raffles. I wonder if that's the delay, It'll but congratulations. They're excited. Who Can't can, fault who can them. blame them? Mm -mm. So Oswald Cat's going to message you right now. Make sure and respond to that so you have a great... Uh, so that you can connect and get that chance to win the collectors. Um, but otherwise, it's going to basically do it for uh, for us here. Um, I want to get... I just want to say thank you to Relic, of course, for having me come out and do this. It's uh, um, I've been gushing about this on my social media and on my channel, but I've been a Warhammer fan since I was 12 years old. I've been an RTS fan since exactly the same time. So if, when those two worlds combine and I'm able to work alongside them, and, and it's all natural excitement, I promise you. Um, so it's a huge honor, huge uh, dream weekend for me, and I'm going to go home and play it on the beta as well. Um, as am I. Maybe I'll gonna meet be you on there. the battlefield. Absolutely. Maybe. maybe. Um, we'll have to play Maybe we'll play some 2 versus 2 or 3 versus 3 or something like that. That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you guys at home, I hope you enjoy the open beta weekend. I'm um, still seeing a lot of people in chat saying stuff like, I didn't get my key yet. If you didn't get your key... Make sure and search for it on Steam, just Dawn of War 3. It's downloadable at this point in time. And then when the game comes out, you got to own a copy to have that. Um, but just a huge thank you to everyone involved and awesome here at Relic. And you guys are really cool. Great questions in chat. I learned a lot um, just playing the game, but also having those questions answered. And hopefully you guys did as well. Make sure and check the VOD section of this channel. When this stream ends, you can watch the whole thing at your leisure for free. It'll be in the previous broadcasted area under videos under the channel. Follow the Twitters, follow the channel, and enjoy Dawn of War 3. Anything from you, Kat? Anything you want to tell the people? Just that uh, we're really excited. Very excited. Uh, it's been amazing, the support that we've had so far, and I just can't wait to meet a lot of you on the battlefield. I know you're going to teach me a thing or two, <laughs> uh, especially in this open beta period where there's just a couple of doctrines and a couple of elites for you to play with. I'm pretty sure that all my strategies that I have believed that I have perfected mm -hmm. over the course of, like, what? Over a year now? I don't think it's going to last. <laughs> no, I think it's going to take just like one or two days. And then 
I'm gonna try a ranger spam, somebody's gonna come out, it's gonna be tough. And I'm gonna like be simultaneously sad, but also incredibly happy. Because I think the most amazing thing about releasing your game to the community after all this time mm -hmm. is being able to see what they actually do with it. And I would love to see you guys share your amazing plays with us, your replays, uh, and it just kind of tweeting at us some epic things that you've done or yeah. clipping certain things when if you're streaming. We'd love to see it. Just tweet it at us. Um, just want to say that we're really excited and I'm really thankful that you guys have tuned in today. We've had a great time and I just can't wait to see what you guys, uh, what strategies you bring to the fore. Well, very good. You guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much. And we will see you soon as Cat says on the battlefield. We'll see you guys out there in the Dawn of War 3 beta and hopefully soon after the game itself. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks.